So to demonstrate some of the examples of the full task pane, I'm going to go back to the periodic reports page that is already a fully fledged report page. Now, this is what I want to take note of. Let's assume that I want to apply some filters on the page based on regions. You know that though we already have a slicer here for region, which I can click on the drop down for the slicer and I can pick maybe the uh, southern region now, for example, and you will see how, you know, every visual on my reports page basically updates to show the context of what's happening in the southern region for these sales and transaction reports. But I'm going to clear this, the, the filter on the slicer so that all the regions are going to show. And I'm going to try to apply the same filter using the filter pane. Like we said, the filter pane has three levels of filters. There is filter on the visual, there is filter on the page, and there is filter on all pages. Now, I want to show how you can use a filter on this page, which is exactly the same thing with using the filter on all pages. The only difference is the number of pages that will be affected by it. So I'm going to go to drag from here. I'm going to drag region and I'm going to put region inside the box for filters on this page, right? So if I uh, put region here, then you will see that my region field is there and I can see uh, a filter type. So there are different types of filter types. There is basic filtering. If I click on the drop down, I'm going to see uh, an advanced filtering as well. So if I go to advanced filtering, then the advanced filtering just allows me to be able to apply filters based on certain rules, right? So, but what I want to show you currently is going to be on basic filtering. Remember, what you see is always what you get. So for basic filtering now, if I select south from the filters pane and I just tick south like this, you see that everything on my reports page is also going to uh, be updated based on it, right? Including the slicer I have here. So this is going to affect everything on this reports page, including even the slicer for region. So if I go to the slicer for region now and I click on the drop down, you see that only south is what I have there. So that's how the filter pane behaves when you use filter on this page. It is exactly the same behavior with what you will see when you use the slicer to filter your report page, right? And another difference is the fact that filter on this page or filters on this page is like a backend way. It's not so elegant. It's not what you want to allow your users to use to do the filtering. You only use it when you want to develop something that requires that you filter your page in the back end. So I'm going to clear or I'm going to remove this filter from here by using this X mark. Then we can continue to create our top end reports. So if I go back to my uh, locations reports page now, I have already created this our uh, sales by states, except that it's currently displaying for all the states. And I want to limit the display of what's happening here. My limits, my limiting right now is limited to this visual alone and not to the entire page. And what I want to limit it by is the number of states that is showing. So I don't want to display all the states. I only want to display some states. So ideally, I can go to the filters on this visual section. State is already there because that's what's on the chart. I'll just click on the drop down on the states there. And again, you can see our basic filtering and I can start picking one state after the other. But this is not what I really want to implement. What I really want to implement rather is to automatically find who are the best 10 states by sales. So I'm going to change my filter type here. I'll click on the drop down and I'll change it to top N filters. Then I can see show top items, top on the drop down. There's a box right there in front of it. I'm just going to type 10. Then there is an extra bucket at the bottom here that is asking me by value. I want the best 10 states according to what value? According to sales. So I'm going to have to come to my field pane again. I'm going to drag sales and I'm going to drop it inside the box for by value. Then nothing happens really, except you click on apply filter.
so once i apply the filter this is always going to be displaying the top 10 states and no longer display all of the states anymore i just need to adjust this a little bit so i can be sure that this will always fit in even when i create my bottom 10 states at the bottom right so the only other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to apply my usual formatting to this chart by removing the x axis title and the y axis title which is what you already know how to do so i'm going to do that back end